something very interesting right here. If you read the story about when Abraham offered up his son Isaac for a sacrifice, if you read it in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 17 and 19, it's actually a type of Christ dying on the cross. Let me show you that. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 17 and 19. By faith, Abraham, when he was tired, offered up Isaac that he should, or that he had received the promises, offered up his only begotten son. Hmm. Verse 18, of whom it is said that Isaac, or that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Hmm. Compare that to the book of Matthew where Jesus says, you know, I'm of the, where he talks about how he's of the tribe of Israel. Uh, verse 19, accounting that God was able to, watch this, raise him up even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. Hmm. Very interesting. I mean, you could interpret this as being a type uh, of Christ dying on the cross. You know, it talks about how raising him from the dead is only begotten son. Compare that to John chapter 3, verse 16. Very well-known verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And in terms of being raised from the dead, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4, talking about the gospel. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I have preached unto you, which ye also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. Verse 2, by which also you are saved, and if you keep in memory what I have preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. And he, talk about, and he talks about how in verse 3 and 4, how Christ died and was buried and rose again. Let me read that for you. Verse 3, For I delivered unto you first of that all that, or first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, verse 4, and that he was buried and rose again a third, uh, sorry, rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So, if you read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 17 and 19, it could be interpreted as a type of Christ dying on the cross. Because it again, talks about him offering up his only begotten son. And, you know, how John 3, 16 talks about how Jesus is God's only forgot, for, oh, sorry, only begotten son. Sorry. And then uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, talks about how Christ was died, buried, and rose again. Back in Hebrews, it talks about how God could raise Isaac from the dead. Just, just a thought out there. I just want to put that thought out there. That you could read Hebrews 11, verse 17 and 19 as a type of Christ dying on the cross. Uh, just a thought, you know, just find that interesting. So anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye.